G'day invaders and welcome to Sin Spaces and this is our state of the channel video for the month of December and we like to look back at November and the top five videos that uh, were successful on the channel. Uh, it was a real quiet month to be quite honest. Uh, I had a few things going on. I tried to get a few bits of content up there on the channel but hopefully I can get a bit more going in uh, December. But uh, I also like to look ahead for December uh, to see what I do have planned on the channel. So uh, we'll just kick into what we've got coming up for uh, November. But before we do that, uh, a big Merry Christmas to all my uh, followers and anyone that likes to watch. Uh, there's a chance that some of you may not come back to watch vi and, uh, videos uh, before now on Christmas. I understand that, you guys are busy. But uh, a big Merry Christmas from down under. Um, it is hot as heck down here actually at the moment. We're hitting tomorrow, actually as I film and you can hear the cicadas now. This is summer. This is what we get for our Christmas down here in Australia. Uh, your winter wonderland that you get in uh, the Northern Hemisphere. I don't know what you guys are on about. It's all foreign to me. One moment, i got to close that window. That cicada is right out my window. Right, now that I've uh, fixed that noise problem and it's hot now because I'm suffocating myself in here, I'll get this done real quick. Number five was my You Pad What video. That was, <laughs> that was our camping video. We went down south and uh, we got to pat uh, uh, kangaroos in the wild and we got to see stingrays, you know, the ones that took out Steve Irwin. Oh, Steve Irwin. Um, and I wasn't going to touch them. If you watch that video, you'll see the tails on them. They don't look like they're messing around, although, to be quite honest, they're like puppy dogs in the water. They just, they're curious. They're, they're not actually really that dangerous, although, tell that to Steve Irwin's family, I guess. And number four on the channel was my uh, Resident Evil video. Uh, number four, Resident Evil 4, my Let's Play. Um, that's been a really good <laughs> game to get into. Never touched a Resident Evil series before. I have got it on the Wii U, which you can actually see running in the background, the Wii U. That's actually um, Star Fox. Hang on. Yeah, that's Star Fox running on the Nintendo 64. Um, the Wii U was such an underrated console. So many good games you can get on it. Um, I don't know why. I, well, we all know the reasons why it failed, but I don't. I think it gets way too much of a hard time to be quite honest online. Um, but moving right along, yeah, the, the uh, Resident Evil 4 video. Uh, check that series out. I'm having a fun time with getting into that. As voted by you Twitter followers. Now I've got 2,000 Twitter followers, and you guys have spoken. So hence the reason why I've got stuck into that game. I really wish you did pick in a Chronicle, uh, Chronicles. Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah, you know the one I mean. Um, moving right along. State of the Channel video for November was number three. Uh, you guys really enjoy watching these videos, so I'm glad I'm not making them for the heck of it. Uh, it and these videos are designed for a chance for me to speak directly to you, as uh, I, uh, I what, uh, used to do. <laughs> um, I do enjoy putting these together. And it's just a chance to do a bit of a catch up of what I had planned on the channel. So that was November that uh, got uh, number three on the channel. Number two was my continuing success with this Mega Drive compact unboxing. That is a, a interesting device. Actually, it's just here, my little mini Mega Drive. Um, it is still getting quite a success, run of success on YouTube, that video. Um, which is good to see. A bit of dust, I should play that more often. But um, no, good console that one actually. Uh, and the number one video on the channel for the month of November was my Yes! Another Bloody Gaming Podcast. Uh, that was number three, I think. We're doing number four actually. So uh, tomorrow here in Australia as I film, it's Friday, Saturday. I'll be doing the Yes! Another Bloody Gaming channel. Um, uh, the podcast, sorry, and that's going to be uh, featuring Uncle Chunt, and let me get this right, 891, Retro Grumpy Gamers, I hope I got that right, and my good mate over at Carbon Nights Gaming. Uh, so those guys are going to be joining me on the channel uh, to do a month look at the gaming industry and 
it's not overly, uh, how would you put it, serious. We just like to chat and crap on. And as Uncle Ch uh, Chunt, I think, said, I think it was him that said on Twitter, no one craps on better than us lot. So <laughs> uh, I really do enjoy hosting, and it's become uh, an interesting experience being a podcast hoster. So that's been, um, yeah, quite, quite interesting and uh, a lot of fun. Time out, it is hot. So I'm not gonna make this an overly long video. Uh, main reason is because it is heck, hot, hot as heck in this room. Uh, I just wanna get out of here to be quite honest, which is quite a shame uh, because this room has got so many cool things. I really need to get aircon in this room. Anyway, uh, what we got planned for the month of December. I have a look at 1978 with my uh, look at since uh, gaming since Spacey's and I'll be starting with 1978 because that was the very first year oops, uh, that this guy well, let me zoom that in Space Invaders that was the very first year Space Invaders hit the scene and uh, that was probably one of the first uh, biggest successful games to ever come out if you don't include Pong this has got a more interesting at least backstory than Pong has, if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, I'll be looking at 1978 and the uh, events that happened in the gaming world in that year, and I'll be uh, unveiling my top three games of that year and my game of the year for 1978. I think you know which game of the year is gonna get number one. I don't think that's a major surprise. Also, I'll be continuing my look at Resident Evil on the Nintendo GameCube. I've also got uh, my continuing look at the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. I'm up to Kid Chameleon. Um, not really one of my favorite platforms, but I know a lot of you out there really do uh, enjoy playing that game. I think it had a lot of potential and it was just plundered. Uh, the music in that game does my head in. I hate the sound effects of the way Sega of America used the Mega Drive or Genesis sound chip um, as opposed to what they were doing in Japan. But I think it will be a, a lot of fun anyway to have a look back at that game. And I want to get through these games because coming up when you get to the S series in that uh, game, a lot of games, you've got Streets of Rage, you've got Sonic, you've got Shining Force, you've got Fantasy Star. All the good stuff's coming, so I'm trying to work my way through those videos to get to those good games. Oh, speaking of Sonic, that's just lying around random. <laughs> also for 2018, yes, we're almost up to 2018 already. Uh, I want to start looking at my career as a journalist. Now, I did a video with Top Hat Gaming Man about working in the video game industry. I want to dive a little more into that. I'm going to be pulling out all those old magazines. I've got the majority of them that I wrote articles in. Not all of them, but just about every one. And I'm going to go through and break down each issue one by one. Uh, and I think that will be a lot of fun. Looking back at the old adverts, my old articles, and just, you know, reading uh, my articles and my reviews to see if my opinion of those games still hold true today in 2000 and well what will be 18 when I get to, that, to, to those uh, magazines. So that's another series that I have planned for 2018 but for December I'm uh, going to be mostly concentrating on getting through uh, Resident Evil and also getting through uh, that 1978 look at video, 1979, 1980, those series of videos I want to really get started on and uh, yeah it's just uh, going to be very hard to find time with Christmas and family. I've got my parents coming down to visit, so I'm going to try and squeeze in whatever time I can. I know you guys uh, who uh, also run channels who watch this can probably relate. It does get a little bit hairy trying to find time to get this stuff out there and keep your audience interested. So hang in there with me. I will be putting content out. I don't really think there's all that much else I have to say. Uh, I'm going to get out of this room because it is freaking hot. We've got a week's worth of rain coming up here in Sydney, so at least that's something for us to look forward to to keep the temperatures down, but the humidity up. Ugh. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave it at that. My name has been Brian, and I've been gaming since Spaces. Merry Christmas, guys. See ya. Now we call here. So short, people won't see you. Huh? <laughs>
G'day invaders and welcome to Sin Spaces and for today's video we're going to continue our look at Super Mario Sunshine but before we do, you may have noticed I have a little squirt here next to me. What's your name? Nah mate, you got to speak up a little quicker, uh, a little more than that. We'll do it again. No, no, nah, nah, we'll start again. So Zen's one of my next door neighbor's kids, so I don't have kids on my own, so I decided to steal this guy instead. <laughs> and Zen, what are we playing today? Mario Sunshine. And what's that you're holding there? What's that? I forgot. You forgot? <laughs> it's a GameCube. A GameCube. <laughs> we'll start again. Zen's one of my next little neighbor's kids, and uh, as you know, I don't have kids of my own, so I decided to steal this guy instead. And he's going to be joining us today on our video as I play through. What's that you're holding there, mate? A GameCube. You really? Have you seen one of them before? Yes, I've been to a house of <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> so, we're going to be watching, uh, I don't know, I've got to do it again. <laughs> you're a smart ass. <laughs> we'll start it again. 